Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Chris. And today I got some good news for all my Cavs fans out there. Andrew Bogut looks like he's going to be coming to the Cleveland Cavaliers after the negotiations between the 76ers and the uh, Cavs are completed. So Andrew Bogut is a center who most notably played for the Golden State Warriors for four years. Um, he played for them during both of their um, you know, NBA Finals uh, runs. He you know, was on their team when they won the championship, and then he was on their team when they lost to Cleveland. And you know, during this current season, 2016-2017 uh, season, he was sent to the uh, Dallas Mavericks in order to make uh, space for Kevin Durant. And um, from what people are saying, he's a little bit upset about that. And um, he was traded uh, from the Mavericks to the 76ers, um, I think during like the trade, you know, deadline period thing or whatever. And, um, you know, I guess he wants to come to the Cavs and the Cavs want him. So this is good news because LeBron James uh, has been highly criticized for speaking out and saying like what the Cleveland Cavaliers need to uh, or, or what they need in order to win uh, another championship. And a lot of people have called him whiny. I saw a news report today of like basically this, I forget which news source it is, but whatever. They basically said that he, you know, LeBron James finally got whatever he wanted. He's, he's whiny, blah, 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 blah. But when you're an expert at something and you've won championships, you're the best basketball player in the NBA right now. Um, you know, it's, it's a debate whether he's greater than Jordan or whatever. I don't even feel like getting into that, but, um, so he knows what's necessary to win. And when he said that, Hey, look, we need a playmaker. We need a, a rim protector because right now the Cleveland Cavaliers really don't have a uh, center. Um, they have Tristan Thompson, but that's about it. And, um, you know, it, it's, it's difficult being a team when you don't have all the necessary mechanics in place in order to win. So I'm glad that he's coming to the Cavs. Um, you know, I think he's probably upset that the uh, Warriors traded him uh, for Kevin Durant. Now, this guy does have some injury issues, but hopefully, uh, knock on wood, everyone on the Cavs is healthy during the playoff season because I think right now, with the way our roster is, if everyone's healthy by playoff time, we're going to sweep through the East again. Like it's going to be, you know, every team that's going to come up against us is going to get 4-0 blowed. Um, and the Warriors are going to, you know, be in the finals again. Like a lot of the, a lot of people are saying that, um, you know, the, the Spurs are going to go to the, uh, uh, you know, the finals. But I, I don't see that happening. I see this Warriors versus Cavs uh, dominating the NBA championship for at least the next two, three years, probably. Um, Bron James is, well, like, 32, 33 years old. But, you know, as long as he has a heartbeat, ain't no other team in the East touching the, you know, the NBA Finals. Like, if you're if you're a player in the East, the, the, the best thing you can work for is either playing against the Cavs in the playoffs or getting to the uh, Eastern uh, semifinals. So, it is what it is. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I hope the Cavs win again. I'm from Akron. I love LeBron. Everyone here loves LeBron. Um, I think he's a very talented person and he deserves another championship. So um, let's get it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment. Have a nice evening or day. Peace.